So the cobbler is there and we can barely make it out. It's absolutely covered uh, in clag and uh, the clouds are really low. And I think realistically we're going to need to assess this at the end of the day as to whether we attempt it tomorrow. Because we've, uh, we have actually made, with a heavy heart, we've made the decision not to do the cobbler tomorrow. As you'll have seen from the footage, we couldn't even see it today. Um, and the weather isn't going to be hugely different. And just through relative inexperience, I think it would be unwise to actually attempt it. So it's really, Arica is not that far away for, for me. So um, I could just hop on a train when it's a nice weekend, come out for the day, go on up to the cobbler and actually show you the views that I wanted to show you. So dead ahead, just through the trees, you can see the iconic outline of the cobbler. I don't know if you can see it with my finger pointing. Oh, it's so clear. <laughs> Would have been a great day to have climbed that. No, we're not doing it. No, no. Now is not the time. I appreciate that. But it's good to finally see it. Good morning, everyone. It's 2021. Hopefully we're through the worst of it and we can start getting back outdoors. And that's exactly what I'm doing because I am here in Arica, ready to climb the cobbler and the weather is absolutely fantastic. Very, very clear skies. Every time I've seen the cobbler over the past year, there's been thick clouds. Now I finally get to do it and tick it off my list. I'm gonna to enjoy today. Let's begin. And there she is, there's the cobbler. Finally, after 32 years, it is in very close sight. Jumped up the steps. Building up quite a sweat, but there's a really, really nice breeze. So it's a perfect balance for me. So I don't like it too warm, and I'm fine if it drops down temperature wise. I'm passing all these people with full backpacks and walking sticks and different types of clothing. Here I am with a shoulder strap, a Jaffa cake bar, a camera, and a bottle of Lucas Aid. So, who's gonna die first? It's a perfect wild camping spot there to make note of. Awesome breeze, just what I needed, perfect timing. It's gonna be uh, quite the climb up to the top, so this, uh, this cooling down is absolutely perfect. Well done, nature. Right, two optional ways to decide which way I'm gonna go. I think I might just stay on this path, work my way up and come down here. I think that's the preferred route. So that's the route I will take. Famous last words, of course, who knows? It's so close. I have to confess, I was actually second-guessing myself 
back at the split there. Wasn't sure whether I should have gone left or right. It does actually go around in a loop and I am aware of that, but the majority of people did seem to be going to the left. However, it was quieter on the, on the right and I generally prefer it when there's less people around anyway. So I think it was a good decision. Scrambling to the top, and I'm at the summit. But we have ice. So, at this stage, you have the choice of doing what's known as threading the needle. That's essentially winding your way around this part here up to the very, very top. I'm not going to do that because I'm on my own. I'm not, I'm not really equipped for it. Um, however, I have finally. After three decades of done the cobbler and feeling very accomplished, I'm looking forward to going back down actually because I'm going to take the different routes or have different views. So I'm just going to stand here for a little while, take in the scenery and give myself a pat on the back. actually quite quite gnarly which means I enjoy it more because I'm weird that way hello West Highland Way hello three locks away This is quite, uh, I think it maybe going up this side would have been more preferable because going down is proven to be a little bit, a little bit tricky, particularly as there's some of the ground, so there's a lot of moss. So you need to tread very, very carefully. I'm just lean into the walls as I come down. Very, very brave. Not for me. Right, so I am almost finished coming down all the way from there. Uh, starting to level out now. And uh, I do have an opinion on this. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that, but it's very, very tricky. You have to spend a lot of your time shuffling down on your bum and being really, really mindful of where you put your feet. Now, as someone who prides themselves on having a great sense of balance, I can be a little bit reckless in that regard. And I don't think really I should have been doing this on my own, at least coming down that side. So if you are gonna do this on your own and you don't have the experience, such as myself, stick to the right route, get to the top and come back down the right route as well. It's a lot safer. Um, however, I did thoroughly enjoy that. I should maybe be a bit more, be a bit more mindful about uh, just being a bit more careful instead of uh, just going gung-ho but it's been a great experience um I'm, I'm gonna do that again absolutely
and it's time to sign off. Araka is coming into view. I can hear the main road. I've had an awesome, unexpected adventure here in the Araka Alps. Finally tick the cobbler off my list. It's taken a long time. Uh, I've done it and I'm going to be back. Uh, do do some more of the Araka Alps, explore some more. So hopefully that, that will be a video for another day. There's more to come. Great Glen Way, uh, end of July. Chris and I will be doing that. I'll be doing a 15,000 foot skydive over the Salisbury Plains, uh, raising funds for the Mental Health Foundation. So that's going to be interesting because I hate heights. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take care. Everyone, thanks for watching and joining me on this rather unexpected little uh, jaunt out to the Arica Alps and to the Cobbler. Thoroughly enjoyed myself and I will be back hopefully very, very soon. Uh, lots more content coming. Great Glen Way, 15,000 foot skydive over the Salisbury Plains. I nearly tripped there. That would have been a great way to end this video.